Welcome to episode 71 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by amyandhobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. This past weekend, I had the opportunity to travel to Cranham, Wisconsin to watch the Traxxas Torque Series race at the Cranham International Off-Road Raceway. Traxxas rolled out the red carpet. We had a great time hanging out with those guys in the pits, and I got to watch the race while on the track with the action just a few feet away. Now let's go to me on the track. All right, thanks, Kevin. I'm out here at the Cranon International Off-Road Raceway in Cranon, Wisconsin for the last race of the Traxxas Torque Series. We saw a lot of awesome racing yesterday, and today is the final round, the final race of the season. And these guys are going to be beating and banging on each other, and we can't wait to see what happens. similarities and differences between the tracks that the full-size trucks run on and the RC trucks run on in the short course world. Here at Crandon, there are a lot of jumps, but they're roller jumps, so the trucks aren't getting big time air. On an RC track, it's more like a supercross track where you have a lot of jumps, a lot of hang time, doubles, triples, singles, whatever. It's just out of control. Here at Crandon, there's a lot of straightaways, so speed is key getting into the next turn to beat your opponent. Whereas an RC track, you want to get out of that turn as fast as possible and make it to the next one. Another thing that's uh, pretty cool about this track compared to an RC track is they actually water it before every single race to keep the dust down and the traction up. And we do the same thing on our RC tracks. While I was there, the Discovery Channel was getting footage of the race using radio controlled helicopters, cars, and airplanes. During the race, one of the cars got a little too close to the action and didn't make it back from the weekend. The world of RC drone surveillance and cellular communications has just become a lot more fun. This amazing mini quad rotor UAV is controlled from an iPhone using touchpad and tilt technology to move forward, backwards, left, right, up and down. The phone also displays what the drone camera sees. How awesome is that? Check out Kyosho's new DMT VE electric monster truck. The DMT is completely ready to run with Team Orion's Vortex 2000 kV brushless motor and 10MT electronic speed control. This monster truck is outfitted with fluid filled shocks, a factory painted body, and is ready to bash once you add your choice of battery. Get rid of that flight simulator and hop into real-time RC combat. Force RC has just come out with a great ready-to-fly coaxial indoor combat microheli that's a blast to fly by yourself or with up to three other pilots. The FHX combat helis shoot and receive hits via infrared communication. Included is a 5-channel 2.4 GHz transmitter that comes already bound to the heli and features dual fire buttons. 
Each airborne module can be handicapped so novice and experienced pilots can fly together in air-to-air -to -air combat. And if that's not enough, you can also get satellite ground targets to help you with your gunnery skills. This video is from our friends at Triple X Maine, and there's a lot of insane don't try this at home type action, and it's all set to a catchy tune. I'm still singing I'm a banana. Triple X Maine offers a bunch of painting and detailing supplies, and it's well known for its series of out of this world action compilation videos. They're from Canada, so let's check it out, eh? Today's episode of the Radio Control Show is brought to you exclusively by AmainHobbies.com for all your RC needs. AmainHobbies.com carries a huge inventory of RC cars, trucks, helis, planes, parts and accessories, all at the best prices around. For one-stop RC shopping, look no further than AmainHobbies.com. ProLine's new sniper tires are currently available for A-scale buggies and short course trucks. And their lug pattern is a scaled up version of ProLine's popular hole shot tread, which will make them work well on loose and dusty type tracks. According to ProLine, the Sniper tires have a long life, which makes them great for those long mains. They're available in several different compounds and supported by molded foam inserts. Go to rccaraction.com slash rcshowsweeps and modelairplanenews.com slash rcshowsweeps. Fill out the form and enter these promo codes to win. Congratulations to David of Meridian, Idaho for winning an Electrofly F20 Tiger Shark EDF. For those of you who are running standard heat sink heads, you'll notice that there's a washer on your glow plug, and sometimes that washer can come off the glow plug when installing it into the head. All you have to do is put a little bit of oil between the glow plug and the washer itself, and it'll hold it in place while you install the glow plug. Remember to head to your local hobby shop, newsstand, or airhstore.com for the October issues of Rated Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time. You've got to start somewhere, Kevin. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> oh, I can't say it now. Camera's on. Got to be good. Here are your promo cards. cards. <laughs> now I wanted to get this thing in the background because look how cool this thing is. I want to go for a ride. Now the dude's stopping. I love it when that happens. All right, you see he spun out. That was pretty cool. Don't forget to check out rccaraction.com every day for the latest videos, exclusive articles, and industry news. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate.